Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students, Assalamu alaikum This is me again, Umar Farooq Sumro, subject teacher of English OPE, class 6 I hope all of you are enjoying your study session by online method So dear students, as we completed our two lessons of unit number 1 Now we are heading towards unit number 2 Okay? Now we are heading towards unit number two and the first lesson that we have to read in unit two is poetry as you know the meaning of this word poetry the tide rises and the tide falls okay this is unit number two book page number 41 as you are watching here on your screen this is book page number 41 book of OPE class 6 so students today we are gonna start our lecture from lesson number three okay so the name of the lesson is poetry the tide rises and the tide falls this poem was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow an American poet in the 19th century it means that the writer of this poem or the author of this poem was an American poet whose name was Henry Wordsworth Longfellow okay clear so students here we are reading about uh, the objectives of this lesson so this lesson tells us its objectives here is a poem about the tide coming in and out the tide means weather okay the tide means weather here is a poem about the time tide coming in and out when the weather or the tide starts and when it ends it has three verses each one has five lines as you can three as you can see each verse has five lines and there are three verses totally in the poem and students there is a mystery traveler Traveler means a person who travels, who takes journey. In the poem, perhaps you can solve it. Okay, for you and for me also, it is a task that we have to solve the mystery traveler. Mystery traveler. Mystery means in Urdu, Raz. Mystery means Raz. Ya Khufia, Chupa Hua. Traveler means Musafir. Yani Khufia Musafir Yani Koi Aisa Shaks Jiske Baare Mein Hame Kuch Idea Malum Nahi Hai But We Have To Read This Poem And Solve It Who Is The Mystery Traveler In The Poem So First Of All Students This Poem Is Written By Henry Wadsworth Longfellow And Now Can You Please Listen Carefully Carefully so this poem is all about the process of birth, death, rebirth in the world. Did you get it? This poem is about the process of birth, death and rebirth. Okay. The plot is set at a seashore and the theme revolves around the sad reality of temporary life on earth. The poem is sad and dark and there is ample use of personification. Okay, so students, the poem basically comprises emotions of a traveler who witnesses the constant rise and fall of tide, which symbolically shows the progression of life. Rising signifies the beginning of life rise signifies the beginning of life and fall tides or tide falls signifies the end of mortal life okay tide rises means beginning of life the tide falls means end of the life of human on the earth okay actually the poem begins with phrase the tide rises and the tide falls this poem is started with a phrase do you know what a phrase is a phrase is a group of words that does not give its actual meaning phrase jo hota hai hamara 
वो भी जुमले की तरह कुछ लफ्ज़ों का बना हुआ होता है पर जुमले की एज़ इट इज़ एक्चुअल मीनिंग होती है जो वर्ड्स यूज़ होते हैं उनकी बट जो फ्रेज़ होता है उसका कुछ यानी मुहावरे में मीनिंग होती है उसकी कुछ टिपिकल टाइप की मीनिंग होती है सो हियर द मीनिंग ऑफ द टाइड राइज इन द टाइड फॉल्स इज अ फ्रेज द टाइड राइज इन द टाइड फॉल्स विच इज रिपीटेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स एज यू कैन सी एट द एंड ऑफ ईच वर्स द सेंटेंस और द फ्रेज tide rises the tide falls is repeated multiple times okay as you can see at the end or on the last line of each verse okay there can be two meanings are you listening students there can be two meanings of this phrase what does it define it can be described in two meanings first it simply means that the tides of the sea keep rising and falling and the process of is eternal and never ending as you have seen a sea shore or a river bank the waves come in then the waves come out and the process of this system is eternal that means never ending eternal means never ending okay however as the poem is quite symbolic the tide here means life in this sense the phrase means that there is birth means rise and the call of death means falls of human life on earth so this students this was the mystery traveler that we had to solve in the poem and we had to find it in the poem basically now we have found the mystery traveler the mystery traveler is cycle of human life who is a mystery traveler mystery traveler is cycle of human life as i described it to you tide means life here in this phrase tide means life rises means birth birth or start of life okay and here falls means call of death call of death means death or the time of death okay so basically the tide rises the tide falls means cycle of birth rebirth and death is called tide rises and the tide falls mystery traveler as i told you who is the mystery traveler in the poem cycle of human life okay did you get it this does not mean that we are learning about seashore about as the picture you are watching on your screen this poem is not actual as the picture has shown to us okay आपने यह नहीं समझना कि हमें जो पिक्चर यहाँ पर शो की गई है यहाँ पर पोएम टाइड राइजेज इन द टाइड फॉल्स यानी जो यहाँ पर वेव्स इन और आउट होती हैं यहाँ जो सी शोर पर मौसम होता है उसके बारे में है दिस पोएम टेल्स अस दैट देयर इज़ अ मिस्ट्री ट्रैवलर हु इज़ अ मिस्ट्री ट्रैवलर इज आई टोल्ड यू साइकिल ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ इज़ द मिस्ट्री ट्रैवलर in the poem this poem defines that the process of birth death and rebirth is eternal it will never end until if god wills okay the process of birth death and rebirth of the human beings is eternal process okay it why it is that's why it is called the tide rises and the tide falls students i hope all of you can understand the meaning of this word so now i am reading the poem the three verses for you and i must tell you that a poem must not be read into in hasten or in great hurry 
you don't have to make hasten you have to read it in very soulful voice how you cannot read it the tide rises the tide falls the twilight darkens the curl you calls along the sea sand damp and brown no you don't have to read the poem in this manner but a poem must be described or read into a good voice in a mannerful voice so here i am reading it for you and i am telling you the method that how it could be read and how could be our sound it will be the tide rises the tide falls the twilight darkens the curlew calls along the sea sands damp and brown along the sea sands damp and brown the traveler hastens towards the town and the tide rises the tide falls darkens settles on the roofs and walls but the sea and the darkness calls and calls the little waves with their soft white hands efface the footprints in the sands and the tide rises the tide falls the morning breaks the steeds in their stalls stamp and neigh as the ostler calls the day returns but never more returns the traveler to the shore and the tide rises the tide falls so students this was the manner how the poem or how a poem can be read out and this poem was written by henry wadsworth longfellow who was born in 1807 and died in 1882 in 19th century two words that you have to know the meaning of it is curlew curlew means wading bird wading bird what is the meaning of this wading bird which type of bird is wading basically a bird who has long feet is called wading bird a bird that has long feet is called wading bird and ostler number 2 you have to memorize the meaning of these two words curly wings wedding word a bird who has a big or wide foot okay ostler means the man who looks after the horses a person who looks after the horses is called ostler you have to read out the poem and we will discuss about each and every single word and about each verse and its each line in our second lecture i hope all of you will understand the meaning of the tide rises and the tide falls okay we will discuss about the meaning of the whole poem in our next lecture still your homework is you have to memorize this meaning of these two words and read out the whole poem with a good voice and a good manner still our lecture ends here we will meet our in our next lecture students allah hafiz